Tonight, an organ transplant patient of an Intermountain Healthcare surgeon who died in a ski crash this week is sharing how that surgeon saved his life. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher spoke with that man this afternoon about how the doctor's death is hitting the transplant community. Lauren. Yeah, Dan, so Dr. Andrew Gagnon died on Thursday in a ski crash at Solitude, but it wasn't until yesterday that many of his colleagues here at Intermountain Healthcare and his Utah transplant community began to find out that news, leaving them in complete shock. Man, it's, it's hard. I can't process it. Disbelief is what Jeff Willis is feeling, not knowing what to do when he heard the news Friday. I drove to the Intermountain Campus, Building 5, and I just sat in the parking lot trying to, you know, process everything. I was just in a state of shock. Trying to understand the death of the person who helped give Jeff life. Just two years ago, Jeff, a type 1 diabetic, was an end-stage renal failure. His body was shutting down. They had said that if they hadn't done that, he would have been dead within a couple of weeks. And so he was, he was really at the end of the rope. In November 2019, Jeff got a 2.30 a.m. phone call. The hospital found a donor match and he needed to come in right away. That's where he met Dr. Andrew Gagnon. And I saw Dr. Gagnon and he introduced himself. And, and for a lot of people who know, he's got this signature smile. It, it just, it's so warming. A warmth that went beyond the operating room when Jeff's significant other, Christina, had a breakdown in the lobby. That kindness and comfort that I got from him was overwhelming. I honestly don't know that I would have um, handled that night as well as I did without, without him. Jeff left the hospital with both a new kidney and pancreas and without type 1 diabetes. He got the chance a couple months later to thank Dr. Gagnon at an event to celebrate Jeff as the hospital's 3,000th transplant patient. I don't know how to repay you. I, I... You know, I have to make every day count, and for him, it was just like you're alive. It's that's that's my repayment is you're you're alive, and uh, it, it, you know, uh, it's just such a good human being in general. That was the last time they saw each other, but he's thought about Dr. Gagnon and the team every day since. Dr. Gagnon gave me a second birthday, and it was like as if life didn't begin for me until after. Uh, pretty much 40 years old. Especially now, knowing more than anyone how precious life really is. From here on out, uh, I'm going to do my best, you know, uh, as much as I can. So, because being alive is a, it's a privilege. And Jeff's story is one of hundreds that people are sharing about Dr. Gagnon. Uh, Intermountain Healthcare told me yesterday that he was instrumental in growing their transplant program. So many people are just sharing condolences on social media. He leaves behind a wife and three young children. Back to you. All right, such a difficult one. Thanks a lot, Lauren Steinbrecher, live for us here tonight. With this sad news, many colleagues and transplant recipients and donors from around the country are sharing their condolences stories of what Dr. Gagnon meant to them and their family. Courtney Harkins, a former competitive downhill skier, donated a kidney, and Dr. Gagnon did her surgery just a couple months ago. She tweeted, he was incredibly warm and kind from New England and a skier, and we got along wonderfully. Harkins is now in Beijing working with the U.S. ski and snowboard and biathlon teams at the Winter Games.